Sony comes back to IFA with a brand new flagship in their Xperia line. It's Joshua Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a first look at the Sony Xperia Z5. <laughs> At first glance at the Xperia Z5, it might look a lot like all the other Xperias, but that's something we probably expected already in the Xperia Z5. Uh, however, there are a few new features on here that should sweeten the pot a little bit, and hopefully this phone's going to make it to many more audiences aside from just the European and Asian markets. A 5.2 inch 1080p display is available here, and yes, there is a Z5 Premium that we're going to talk about a little bit later, uh, but for now, we're going to take a look at the main Z5 that's powered by the Snapdragon 810 with three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card slot as you can see here and this entire uh, body is water and dust resistant. But what we do really like about the Z5 here is the somewhat different look on the side. What we have here is a much larger silver power button that doesn't quite look as iconic as it did before, as we remember from previous Xperia devices, but still has a very unique look. But the reason why it's a lot wider now is because Sony's fingerprint reader is embedded in there. So if you're going to be uh, unlocking the phone with your right hand, holding the thumbnail is going to be how you will unlock the phone. And it actually feels quite nice. Just tap the button in order to wake the phone and hold your thumb there and it will unlock quite easily. Feasibly, you should be able to do this with let's say your index finger on your left hand, for example. Uh, but really in our testing right here, I went ahead and put a fingerprint on there and it seemed to really work quite well. In general, however, the Xperia Z5 feels really nice in the hand as most Xperia's do because its symmetrical design just feels quite solid and is really easy to grip and really just sort of uh, tumble around if you need to get to the notification dropdown at the top, for example, or go from left to right. Uh, the Xperia Z5 still continues that great handling experience, especially in the size that it keeps at 5.2 inches in the display. Now, the display technology is still being boasted about by Sony, and we do think that it looks quite nice, especially in our first look here. Uh, but really, what we really notice here is just how fast the phone is. Uh, the Snapdragon 810 is doing a great job of powering the Xperia UI, which is backed by Android 5.1.1. And as I'm going through the recent app screen and really hitting all the apps that I possibly can, it really feels like one of the snappiest editions of Android that we've seen thus far. Uh, it's definitely up there. And uh, the Xperia UI does try to keep things fairly spartan with only a few features here and there, uh, including those little small apps that you can access from the recent app screen. But even then, then it still feels really, really smooth and very rapid. But what we're really excited for is checking out the new camera. Now, this is the first time in the Xperia line in a long time that we've had a reimagined camera module in the back, and we're really looking forward to putting this 23 megapixel Exmor RS sensor to its testing. Uh, what really is intriguing to us is the fact that Sony really put out there that their imaging department has been one of the best. And yes, they have come out with some great alpha cameras, and hopefully now we'll be able to see that kind of quality in their smartphones. The Z5 also sports one of the fastest autofocuses, and I tried to test it in this particular unit, and it did seem to do a really good job, even in this somewhat low-light situation that I was uh, testing it out in. Of course, 4K video capture will be available on there, and a steady shot technology will hopefully be able to stabilize all of the photos and even the videos uh, in a way that makes it very pleasant to the eye. The front-facing camera is of a 5-megapixel construction, but really, when you're looking through the camera app itself, there's so many options, and this is something we've been used to from Sony for for a long time now, everything from AR to even all of these different ways of just manipulating the shot, panorama modes, slow motion, fast capture, and everything that you could really hope for inside of the camera to make your photography just that fun. But really, we can't wait to see if the quality of this phone is up to snuff compared to all of the other great flagship quality that we've seen in 2015 already. And finally, uh, we are going to take a look at the Xperia Z5 Premium. Now, we do have a meeting with Sony coming up in a day or two where we're going to get a closer look at it because at the actual press event, no one was actually able to get their hands on the Premium. And we've been told that we'll be able to tomorrow. Now, the Z5 Premium does have a 4K display, which is kind of insane when you say it out loud. But at a 5.5 inch display, you have 801 pixels per inch. That's the number that we saw on their display there. Uh, and they were really touting it of being one of the best displays that has been 
put out, especially with the highest resolution that we've seen on a smartphone to date. Uh, but what they're also going to do, as Sony does with their televisions, and this is an intriguing thought, uh, is the phone itself is going to upscale all of the media content so that it actually has a 4K look to it. Now, we are a little bit skeptical about that, even though a lot of media out there is still around 720p resolution, 1080p when you're lucky, uh, it will get upscaled and might have a different type of look to it as a result. Uh, but again, we're really excited to get our hands on it and actually compare these displays once we have our hands on a review unit. And if you're thinking about battery life for a 4K display, the 2900 milliamp hour battery of the original Z5 gets bumped up to 3430 in the Z5 Premium. And hopefully that is going to be enough to put uh, this phone through its paces across the day, whether it be for work and play, uh, but with the stamina modes and the great battery consumption uh, options that you have on the Xperia line, you should be able to get this phone to kind of stretch itself out for quite a long time. Uh, but until we get our hands on a review unit, we're going to be waiting with bated breath to get the Xperia Z5 in our hands and really put that camera at least through its paces. We do really like the fingerprint reader in the side um, power button. And really, it just looks like a pretty solid phone that we had a pretty good time with in our short time with it already. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more from IFA in Berlin as we are here at the Sony booth bringing you the Xperia Z5. Stay tuned for more.